Hello and welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Kelsey Corey. I'm an emotional fitness coach with Energy for Impact. And I'm so grateful to be here today. I wanna to thank you as you're arriving in and go ahead and drop into the chat a hello, a greeting, uh, whether it's the start of your day, middle of the day, towards the end of your day, where are you in the world? So I'm so grateful for this digital medium to be able to connect and we just love to be able to receive your energy as well. I want to start by saying a big thank you to the ProServe team for welcome, welcoming me in today and it is such a joy and a pleasure to be here with you. And as people are arriving and as we're getting started here, we are going to spend a few moments grounding ourselves and use our breath to do so. If you've been seated for a while today already, I invite you to stand up during this time and just take this opportunity to get a little bit of movement into the body, have a little bit of flow. And we're going to start by just taking a big breath in and letting that go. If you like to bring the arms into this movement, go ahead. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bring the arms down and nod the chin to the chest. And again, bring the arms up, inhale, exhale, take the head to one side, inhale back up, head drops to the other side, last one here together, inhaling, nodding the chin again, and go ahead and just bring your head back up to centre. Maybe a few nice shoulder rolls here. Look over one shoulder, look over the other shoulder. Mm. And if you're standing, I invite you to stay standing for this time. If you'd like to sit again, you're more than welcome to. We're gonna take a little moment here and just ooh, ground ourselves as we prepare. And I ask you, are you ready? Are you ready to release the energy of stress so that you can feel confident and show up at your best? Okay, if you are ready, then go ahead and drop a yes in the chat, drop a hi in the chat, and we are ready to get going. I'm going to begin by introducing myself a little further. Let me see if I, oh, there we go. Oh, we're going too far. Let's stay here for a moment. I want to say g'day <laughs> and give you a bit of context as to who this energetic Aussie is on the other side of the screen. I'm curious to know where in the world you are and perhaps if there's any other Aussies out in the audience and just saying g'day, saying hi to all of you. So we'll start by looking at the middle picture here. So I was born and bred and raised in a town called Broken Hill. It is in the Australian outback. If you're familiar with Australia, where Adelaide is down in the bite, it's just six and a half hours northeast, quite towards the centre. And as you can see, it's a lot of desert outback there. And Six years ago, when I moved to Toronto, Canada, it has, it, well, and still, I'm still adjusting to the weather differences, <laughs> to the change in seasons and patterns. And just yesterday here, we had a beautiful snow day and it really continues to blow my mind. You might be wondering, why did you leave Australia, gorgeous, sunny Australia, and move to snowy, wintry Canada? <laughs> well, life just has a way of taking you on a journey, wouldn't you say? And in Australia, I had a former life as an IT project manager and living all of that and learning all of that was incredible. And then I decided to go and explore. And that was part of the transition journey in the beginning of my foray into the well-being world. And when I first arrived here in Canada, I was continuing to live in the corporate space in an operational role, all the while kind of collecting my modalities. So. By now, I've built quite a few. I've got quite a toolkit going on. Pilates, yoga, Thai massage, Reiki, chakra balancing, EFT tapping. And I combine all of these together in my role now as an emotional fitness coach with my business energy for impact. And the picture here on the left is the last in-person presentation that I was able to do. And it won't be the last. This was March 2020 last year. So hopefully we'll be able to be in person again soon have to say though I am so grateful for this digital medium and this opportunity for the tools that I have that they can be shared through this format through this virtual world and I'm really grateful that you've chosen to take this time to show up for yourself today and understand how these tools can help support you to strengthen your emotional fitness. Before we move into that though I have to just point out this picture on the right 
<laughs> oh, she just lights up my heart. And I've included this picture here because playing the role of aunt to this adorable little girl, her name is Macy Blaze. And honestly, I didn't know that being an aunt would have such an impact on me. And truly, she is such a motivation for me, particularly when it comes to the impact I can have through my business and through sharing these tools, sharing this knowledge, equipping more and more people so that they can be kind and compassionate and love and accept themselves through their emotional experiences, through stress, so that you can show up at your best. And I truly dream of the world, the world of emotional regulation that Macy is moving into, where we all are feeling comfortable and confident to take control of ourselves and enjoy the ride a little more. OK, because during this time, it's like unprecedented the impact that stress is having on us. And if left unchecked for too long, it becomes a chronic impact in our world. Research has shown that between 75 and 90 percent of dis-ease that we humans are experiencing is connected to dysregulation of our stress management system within our body. And I like to see the stress management system as our emotional management system. Our emotions are energy in motion, our life force flowing through us. And when it is getting stuck and stagnant and repressed, it is accumulating into experiences like you're seeing on this slide here. And I invite you to have a look at this and as you're passing your eyes over it, just notice how many of these are either currently or often an experience in your world. And reflect on perhaps how much you are just assuming and accepting that this is part of life, that this is how it is. And it really saddens me to know that that is how we have become conditioned over time with stress, to just accept it. And assume that it's just part of the way that we are expected to go about living and I truly believe and I'm excited about empowering and offering ways in which you can flip that script and you can bring in more health and happiness and vibrancy and vitality and joy into your life and that is through strengthening your emotional fitness. So you might be wondering, you might be thinking, hey Kels, emotional fitness, okay I kind of get the concept, I understand, but not quite put it into words. <laughs> so I've done that for you as per my the way and the approach that I'm taking with emotional fitness. And so essentially I see it as the inner strength that you gain when you embrace your emotional experience, particularly the uncomfortable ones, right? The comfortable emotions were totally happy when they show up, but when the uncomfortable emotions show, are you loving and accepting yourself for experiencing those? I certainly was not. And I certainly, I'm not going to say was not, I certainly struggle to at times still. <laughs> okay, like, does a doctor still get sick? Yes. Does an emotional fitness coach still struggle with her emotions? Yes. And I've realized that that's because I can be a bit of an emotional perfectionist. There is a part of me who is very, very good at telling me I should be a certain way when the reality of my emotional state is completely different. And so this has been such a journey for myself in becoming aware and understanding the power of acknowledging the truth of your experience, of receiving it with the kindness and compassion that we so easily and effortlessly give to others, but how much do we struggle to give that to ourselves? And when we can truly embrace our emotional experience in its wholeness, what you resist will persist. And so I invite the opportunity to instead assist that emotional energy to begin to shift. And then that is when you can return into a regulated state and start to use your energy for the impact you know you're capable of and that you intend to have, that you want to have. We're all here to have a big impact and this is going to help you get there. And so by practicing emotional fitness, here are some of the impacts when you are enhancing and strengthening your emotional fitness. So browsing this list here, just take a moment to absorb the reality and the, the potential, the possibility here. Notice which ones light up your whole body and being right now. What makes you go, oh yes, that would be incredible to have in my life. And know that that is possible for you. And know that when we start at the individual level, to 
engage in activities and tools and modalities that help us to come into these states, that then has a ripple effect and an impact outward in the interactions that we're having with others and the way in which we're impacting the world. So it's a really, really powerful thing. And I invite you also to take a moment here and just reflect on this experience and this potential not only for yourself, but what it would do for your team. The impact that it would have on the culture and the vibe, the way in which you're connecting and collaborating, the productivity levels and attendance. And of course, at the end of the day, all of that comes together and impacts the bottom line. So when we're happier and healthier as individuals and as a collective, then that's truly being able to use our energy for impact. Wonderful. I'm going to take a quick sip while you take this in. Wonderful, wonderful. And so before I go to our next slide, actually, uh, hopefully by now you're a little engaged, you're a little enticed, and hopefully you're also trusting me because I'm about to invite you to do an experiment. I will be introducing you to my favorite emotional regulation tool. It is incredible. It's efficient, it's effective, extremely effective, and it is a little different. It's perhaps a little strange compared to the wellbeing tools that you are already currently using. And I'm introducing it right here, right now, because I want you to be using it throughout this time together. It is something you can do. We can multitask in this aspect, and then we'll have an idea of the impact of it collectively over time, as well as a little exercise we're going to do with it later as well. And this tool, before we go into it, actually, nearly forgot, I invite us to rate our state at the beginning, so then we can compare it and see if there's been a shift at the end. So go ahead in this moment, and if it feels comfortable to you, take a hand to the heart and a hand to the belly, where you can rest your hands on your lap, and find a place to focus your gaze, or if it feels all right, close your eyes. And just take a moment and arrive at the breath here. Bring your awareness inward. Nod the chin slightly, lengthen the back of the neck and just take this time to check in with yourself. And just ask yourself in this moment right now out of 10, What's your current rating of stress? 10 being the highest. Trust whichever number appears first, that that is your potentially subconscious truth. And take a little moment of acceptance for that rating right now. So you take a breath into the belly and let a sigh release. Blinking back, open the eyes. Beautiful. And so I'm extremely excited to introduce you to EFT tapping. And EFT stands for the Emotional Freedom Techniques. And I'll be introducing and explaining a little bit more about them in a moment as we go along. I will begin by saying that there have been over a hundred studies, peer reviews, and meta-analyses done, and every single one of them have proven EFT to be effective in emotional regulation and stress management. So if that's not enough to gauge you and say, yes, I'm here for the experiment, then I don't know what else could be. So let's dive in, and I wanna get you tapping. So you can see here on the screen, we've got a few options. We will start with the hands. With our spirit fingers. So just hold your hands out in front of you and you'll notice the points are just where the nail and the flesh meet on the inside of each finger. Now these are meridian points, okay, and stimulating these is going to be communicating with our nervous system and help bring us back into regulation. So you can tap on the points, you can hold and squeeze the points, or you can use your thumbs just to hold on there and pulse on the point. Let me get a little closer, <laughs> show you. So we can pulse, we can tap, or we can squeeze. And this is a great, great, great tool. Not only if you've got fidgety energy, instead of allowing your 
tend to tap or your knee to bounce, turn that energy because it's such a stuck energy in your body. Allow it to flow by stimulating the finger points, the new fidget. And it's also something that you can do off screen, right? We live in this little square rectangle bubble right now and you can be regulating yourself as I've been doing. So far, so good. Keeping cool, calm and collected. Now we also have points on the side of the hand, so you can tap on either side of the hand, the squishy part side of the hand. Some people like to tap two for one, get both here. Yeah. And then we've also got the face and body points. We're going to practice those together after. For now, I just invite you to use either the side of the hand or the finger points. And as we go throughout, I'm going to raise my hands as a way. <laughs> I'm going to raise my hands as I'm tapping as a way to cue to you to keep tapping as we go. OK, all right, we'll continue. I've got my second screen here. That's probably why. Why does she keep looking over here? Got you all set up and it's time to go sailing on the seas of self. Coincidence that I wore my sailing shirt? I think not. If you're a visual person, I invite you right now to close your eyes. This analogy is something that I've been playing with. It's a way to help understand our emotions and understand ourselves as human beings. We live in such a technological world that it's very easy to forget that we are inherently emotional beings. And that's because we are energy. We are pure energy. Our life force is moving through us. And if it wasn't, then we wouldn't be considered living. And so that energy as it flows is your emotion. And I want you to see that emotion as the seas. See it as the seas. So we've got that steady flow. Sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. And your physical body is the boat. Your captain is the conscious mind and your first mate and the crew are your subconscious mind. And they are responsible for maintaining order and homeostasis. That's meaning that our, our breath is regulated, our blood pressure is regulated, our internal body temperature. Everything is not, it's all just happening. It's not something you need to be consciously thinking about. So our subconscious is processing. We're consciously focused on the task at hand and what's going on. And we're sailing on these seas. Now, I want you to consider in this analogy that you are responsible for the ship. You are not responsible for the sea. The emotions are an effect and the cause of your emotions can come from both external stimulus and internal stimulus. And so generally, the ideal is that we are living in what's called our zone of regulation here. This is where your energy is regulated, it's balanced, you're able to communicate clearly, you're calm. You may experience a state of stress, but this is when it can be like a motivator. It can be something that's urging you forward and, and the pressure feels good. It's that good kind of sweet spot of like, okay, I've got this going on. That is when you are in your zone of regulation. You can handle what life is throwing at you. Then <laughs> stress strikes and that can be sparked, as I said, by external, internal experiences. Our senses are interpreting, communicate with the amygdala in your brain and boom, you go into your stress reactions. The first of which is potentially your hyper dysregulation, which you would have known as your fight flight reaction. Now, it's important to state that it is a reaction. It's not something you consciously are choosing. And my intention here today is that with this knowledge, knowledge is power, with this knowledge of how and what is happening and the tools with tapping, are we tapping away? I'm, I'm talking, but I'm also tapping. <laughs> um, with these tools to help you come back into that zone of regulation, that state of balance, so that you can choose your response, show up in the way that you're wanting to show up in these situations. And so when we're in this hyper dysregulation, that's when we can feel overwhelmed by emotion. We're feeling angry, agitated, anxious, and like the waves are just really big and scary. And so your energy actually needs calming to bring it back down into this state. And our tapping is a beautiful way to help calm your nervous system. The other stress reaction that can strike is our hypo dysregulation, our freeze, faint, fawn, foggy brain. This is when you react and you can feel a little stuck, a little dissociated, mind and body are disconnected. 
you might find yourself procrastinating. You uh, you might find yourself going along with things. The fawn response is that you just go along, not wanting to rock the boat and cause more stress. OK, so we just kind of get stuck in this state and it's as if the, as if you've gone under and you're just feeling depressed your energy is is very low it's undercharged and you need energizing to bring you back up great news tapping is also a brilliant way to bring you up out of hypo dysregulation back into our zone of regulation win that's why i chose to share it with you today it's going to work both ways and the fact of the matter is that a smooth sea never made for a skilled sailor and our reality is that we're not going to live our whole life in that zone of regulation. It's impossible and I would argue with you that you would get bored if we did. So the truth and the reality is that the large waves are going to come, the hyper dysregulation, the hypo dysregulation, and it's about embracing it. It's about accepting it when it does happen and then knowing that you have the tools to assist you to shift yourself back into that zone of regulation, a balanced state showing up as your best. Okay, so let's look a little deeper at EFT here. So I mentioned the meridian point. So it works on a similar structure and function to acupuncture. And instead of puncturing and, and going through the skin, we're acupressure, we're tapping on the points. Okay, and we're tapping as I'm talking to you here. And so, as I mentioned with the amygdala in our brain, what this is doing is tapping helps to intersect the communication that it is giving because so often our reactions to stress it's not like the actual tiger is coming at us and that's how years and years and years of um of evolution has not yet turned <laughs> that reaction off so we are misinterpreting uh, signals as stress and we are reacting and we're able to intersect and bring ourselves back into the zone of regulation with our tapping and so there are many amazing ways that this can help. So we've got here that as you're experiencing uncomfortable emotion, it can help to allow it to flow. And if you're feeling tension in pain in your body, it can also help it to release as well. We've got the whirling mind at sleep. Oh my goodness, last night helped me so much. The finger points, lying in bed, <sighs> a bit of breathing, a bit of tapping, and it's a great way to release. <laughs> We are going to work through any anxious and overwhelming thoughts. So if like I experience this a lot and just take a pause, do some tapping. We're about to do it together and guide you through it. It's going to help you maintain your cool in frustrating situations and also in situations when you get nervous. Like do not underestimate the impact that me tapping during this time right now, right? Like presenting virtually to whoever many people are out there on the other side of the screen. I know that you're there. It makes me nervous still <laughs> and so I'm tapping to help myself stay calm and collected and then also who doesn't want more calm and ease in everyday life right you can help to expand that zone of regulation so the waves can get bigger and you can handle them by incorporating tapping regularly and that's where bottom left hand corner here we've got the proactive regulation incorporating this as often as you can into your life using it as a transition mechanism right and working from home so much at the moment i don't know about you but like everything just blends into one for me and so consciously taking a moment and marking a transition with some moments of tapping is really really powerful also reactively if you are in a, a meeting right and and <laughs> we've all got that colleague who is on and they're talking and they're just talking and they're continuing and if that's bringing up a reaction in you then you can do some tapping to help yourself come back into a state of calm <laughs> all right and so we're going to go into this little activity i know we've been tapping along as we go but i'm going to invite you to take two and tap with me so this is a fun little exercise that i have a reminder set for myself i do this two times a day two times take two and tap yes it works and it's going to bring you back into smooth sailing so we start with the breath then we're going into uh some the tapping points and you can choose to use i'm going to be using the face and body points you can follow along to get the feel for that with me you can stay on the hands and fingers if you'd rather and i'll point out the um face and body points first one begins at the start of the eyebrows we then have the bony part on the side of the eye the bony part just under the eye the nose just under the nose the chin 
find your collarbone points and it's just under the collarbone points. We're going to go under the arm. We're going to go at the top of the head. OK, so we're going to flow through those points and I love it. I have this. This was a gift to me. So I have this beautiful timer. I'm going to flip that on. We're going to take two and tap together. Here we go. So flipping that over and just start tapping. And connect to the breath. If you feel comfortable, close your eyes and give yourself a moment here. Just notice. Mm, bring your awareness into this moment. Notice how this feels in the body. You may become aware of yawning, burping, or any energy ripples or flows through the body, kind of like an internal shiver. All of those are signs that your energy is moving. <sighs> Beautiful. Keeping my eye on the timer here. And just tap and breathe, tap and breathe. We're helping to activate the rest and digest parasympathetic branch of our nervous system. <sighs> you might feel the shoulders relax, the jaw release any tension. Mm. Beautiful. Take a final big breath in here. The big breath out. Take one hand back to the heart, one hand back to the belly. And just notice what you notice now. Take a little moment and ask yourself out of 10 in this moment, how intense is your rating of stress? Notice what's shifted. Know that by taking responsibility and choosing to use this tool of tapping to assist your energy to shift. Even just a couple of minutes can have an impact. You can tap for longer. You can continue integrating it throughout the day. Taking a final breath together here. And a big sigh. Take a moment of appreciation and gratitude to yourself for showing up today. For being able to add this tool to your toolkit. And I'm going to invite you in our final few moments together to think of the way in which you can keep this momentum going. Now that you know, now that you've got this, how are you going to integrate some tapping into your life to build up? that zone of regulation. So think of a moment where you can use it further in this day, whether it's in another session, whether it's as a transition back into personal life, after work life, out on a walk. I think a tap every time I'm out for a walk. And who will you share this tool with? Because sharing is caring and it's also going to help to consolidate your learning. So who can you share and help Right. Think about the impact that that's going to have. It makes me so excited to think of this, right? Like I'm sharing it with you, you're sharing it with someone else, they share it with someone else and then the web and everybody just starts tapping. I dream of the day we're walking down the street and you see someone tapping and you can go, thank you for taking responsibility for your emotional regulation right now. <laughs> it might be a bit of a nerd in that sense, but oh, I just dream of it. And when can you schedule a reminder in your calendar to take two and tap? OK, so all of that to say as well, other fun ways. <laughs> really forgot, I was like, here we are. I'm going to share with you the EFI gym. So this is a solution to other ways in which you can integrate emotional fitness into your life that launched, we launched, I had the idea for this four months ago and we launched in uh, November last year and 
I'm so grateful and excited because it's truly supporting my life <laughs> so much to have these sessions to go to. And we're exploring all each of these modalities. We have 60 sessions a month. That's three sessions each day, Monday to Friday. And it's ex just, and so then we also have the on-demand library as well. So whether you want the accountability of having live sessions in your schedule, knowing you're showing up, being able to connect with the community in that way, or whether you want to be able to turn to the on-demand resources when you need in the moment or when it integrates into your schedule. The EFI Gym is here to support and if you're interested to learn more about it, you can visit the website, uh, so energyforimpact.co. Uh, you can see there's a little link at the top there, join the gym or you can go straight to emotional fitness training and you can also scan the QR code there and learn more about it. And so it would be an honour to see you inside the gym. We have a free community membership as well. So you can come and you can access the free resources. We have a monthly community class that you can attend to get a feel for it. And there is individual as well as group and team access as well. Well, and finally, as a thank you, I want to send you a big virtual hug. Oh, I can't tell you how much I am a hugging person and how much I'm struggling not getting the hug. So please receive this hugging energy from me. I'd love to remain connected. I'd love to hear from you. It's so hard without being able to have the back and forth here. So if this has resonated for you, if this has helped you, if you have any questions from this at all, please reach out. I would love to stay connected and be connected with you. And I thank you so much. We are one minute over time. Not too bad considering I'm good at talking. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you to the ProServe team again. And thank you so much for showing up for you today. Okay, be well. <laughs> See you soon.